Pay at closing real estate leads sounds pretty good, doesn't it? You get free seller or buyer leads and you only pay them when you close. So everybody wins. Great. But not so fast. There are some tiny pitfalls when it comes to their providers. What? You want 25% commission again? I mean, I, I was already invited to their 25th wedding anniversary and got this lead like 10 years ago. So I wanted to learn more about the dangers and pitfalls. I set out to investigate 11 providers offering pay at closing real estate leads to find out which one is maybe worth considering. And during my investigation, I found some pretty interesting things. Which providers did I take a closer look at? Well, it was Realtor.com, Zillow Flex, Homelight, Agent Harvest, Clever, Upnest, Agent Pronto, Agent Fixup, Rocket Homes Verified Partner Network, Effective Agents and Referral Cloud. I analyzed each of them and checked hundreds of user reviews across eight different platforms. So I investigated reviews on Reddit, G2, Bigger Pockets, Google Play Store, Apple's App Store, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, and Shopper Approved. And I will definitely not bore you by reading all of these hundreds of reviews. No worries. Wait a second, wait a second. I. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. I, I told you I wouldn't read all of them. Please, let's, let's talk about that. Let's check out some highlights instead. Later, you will learn what my investigation revealed so you know on which one you may want to bet your money or rather time on. Remember, it's paid closing leads. You don't pay for them upfront. We'll see how many of the 11 are left in the end. So the first interesting thing I found is that of the 11 providers, I could find only for five enough reviews across various platforms so I could approach at least some statistical significance. The following guy somehow managed to avoid leaving tracks and avoid my investigation. It was the providers Agent Harvest, Clever, Upnest, Agent Pronto, Agent Fixup and Referral Cloud. This doesn't mean there wasn't any data, but it wasn't just enough to cross-check user opinions on several platforms and at least approach some statistical relevance. This leaves us with only five providers that didn't manage to disappear in a witness protection program. It's Realtor, Zillow Flex, Homelight, Rocket Home, Verified Partner Network and Effective Agents. Let's start with Realtor.com former OpCity. Positively mentioned was that some had good success, had great success with their leads and some could even close deals as big as 10.8 million some also said that the lead quality gets better as agents gain experience. On the negative side, some mentioned low quality leads, a high 35% referral fee and that leads often go for cheaper properties. After I crunched some numbers and evaluated all the user reviews, the result was 58.25% negative and 41.75% positive reviews. Now Zillow Flex. Here's some of the positive reviews I found wrote that it's great to jumpstart a real estate career and that they provide high quality leads. On the downside, however, you find even more customers saying that the lead quality is inconsistent, is often unresponsive and not exclusive. This means competition with other agents. My analysis of all the reviews across the review platforms from earlier revealed only 20 2.9% positive and 77.1% negative reviews. Next stop is Homelight. Several of the positive reviews also pointed out that they found good clients with the help of the provider and that the 25% referral fee is worth it as long as the referral volume is high enough. And as always, there is the negative side of things. Some critique their lack of a clear disclosure that agents are paying for referrals and poor lead quality. What my analysis revealed after counting and sifting through all the reviews was that 65% were negative and 35% positive ones. We can almost piece the puzzle together and find a conclusion. So as almost last provider we have Rocket Homes Verified Partner Network. As positive some agents pointed out that they got their clients the best mortgage rate and cleared them to close early. However on the negative side some 
pointed out that it was a nightmare, whatever that means. And crunching the numbers and counting good and bad reviews, I found that 75% were negative and 25% positive. So is there no provider with more positive and negative reviews? Well, yes, it leaves us only with one and they're not even sponsoring my video here. But let's say it this way. Effective Agents was the only paid closing lead provider where I could find more positive than negative reviews across various platforms. It was 93.1% positive and 6.9% negative reviews. Since this is quite a difference and the difference is so significant, maybe we take this a little bit with a grain of salt. But I guess it's safe to assume that there are more positive than negative reviews. In the reviews, users mentioned as positive good leads and good people at the company, and as negative that the leads were cold. However, there are some general traps or pitfalls with paid closing real estate lead providers you may want to keep in mind. That's even true for this overall more positive provider effective agents. On the one hand you don't have upfront costs and in theory better chances of getting quality leads because the provider only gets paid when you can close. Then you save time by not working on lead generation. On the other hand, as a beginner agent you often don't get into these programs. Fees can be pretty high and you may pay referral fees even for future transactions with the same lead. And leads in reality are often reported to be low quality and non-exclusive. And then even if you get in and you get great quality leads, there still is the danger that you get hooked in a way that you will be dependent on just one lead source and this is not a great risk diversification. So the whole thing is a bit of a crazy dilemma. A beginner real estate agent who would need these providers most likely isn't getting into one of these programs and an established broker or agent with a well-oiled lead gen machine could get in but wouldn't need them anymore. Well, there you have it and if you want to learn how to leverage AI for real estate lead generation, you may want to check out the next video. Oh, and don't forget to check out also my free course revealing the overlooked foundation factor for your lead gen success, which I link in the description below. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.